thing that can take your hurdle form to the next level is learning how to cut step. In today's video, we're going to examine the cut step, what it is, and how you can work on it. Before we do that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get right to it. The cut step is something that's really hard to master, but once you do, it can have a profound effect on how fast you are over the top and in between each hurdle. It'll allow you to gain momentum through the hurdle race rather than lose it, and also make you be in the air less over the top of the hurdle. First, you need to know what the cut step is. The cut step is the transfer of vertical force, vertical momentum, sprinting with your knees up, and transferring that momentum outward through the hurdle. And it's done by a proper takeoff step. So what you want is your takeoff step to be a good distance from the first hurdle so you have room to lean in and jump outward that horizontal momentum through and past the hurdle. To do that, we want to pull our takeoff step underneath us, stay off of our heels, and get our nose over our toes, get a kind of a, a full body lean into the hurdle, and your toe should be the last one, last thing coming off the ground with your takeoff step. This will create a more horizontal path over the hurdle and you will hit the ground with much more momentum coming off the hurdle as opposed to what a lot of hurdlers do which is project upward over the hurdle with a frontward leaning takeoff step with a lot of heel action involved if you ever feel like you're floating over the hurdle this is the reason so what a lot of people do is they will plant out in front of them i tell my hurdlers this is like hitting the brakes in the car plant here you're stopping your momentum and projecting that momentum upward, creating that floating feeling, you're gonna have a hard landing and have to re-accelerate past the hurdle, and you're gonna kind of feel like somehow you're dying at the end of a race that's only 100, 110 meters. So to properly perform the cut step, the work must start at the beginning of the race. You have to really push long and strong, especially for your first two steps. That's your acceleration phase for the 110 hurdles. And then after that, you wanna get tall, still long striding, but as you get to about the fourth step, each step after that should be a little bit quicker than the step before it, leading to your shortest, quickest step being your eighth and final takeoff step. If you don't do the work early in the race, you're not gonna be close enough to the hurdle to get the cut step, which needs to be pulled underneath you, so you're gonna end up planting out in front of you. So if you are close enough to the hurdle, you will be in position to perform a proper cut step, which would be swinging low rather than the typical heel up, knee up, toe up cycle. It'll swing lower, and then you wanna pull it back just a little bit to where it lands underneath your hips, and it gets your hips in front of your knee, knee in front of your, your heel, and kind of every joint from your head all the way to your heel is one in front of the next, and your heel must not touch the ground at all. If your heel touches the ground, you're not cut step. So in kind of a slow motion way, here's what a cut step should look like. You're running with your heel up, knee up, toe up action. And as you're getting close, now instead of pulling the heel up, now we are swinging low, moving back, and keeping our heel off the ground. Even just walking through that motion helps develop that muscle memory and you can feel how your body is now getting projected forward through and past the, ho the hurdle horizontally. So one thing about the cut step is it's pretty hard to just consciously say, I'm going to cut step. It's something you can work on and work on and work on and have a lot of struggles from trying to get that cut step to happen. What you have to do is put your body in position to cut step by getting that good acceleration, covering ground early in the race, raising your hips, having good posture, and focusing on something simple like keeping your heel off the ground. So that's kind of what the cut step is and how you can work on it. Don't get frustrated. It can take a little bit of time to develop, 